Yo, what's poppin'? Welcome to Twinka Movie Club. It's your boy Twin and Twinka in the building. Yay, I'm here. <laughs> so we got a nice little episode ready for y'all. Uh, Assassination Nation streaming on Hulu right now. So what's up? What we got? All right. So this... <laughs> This movie here was very interesting. Um, very. So it kind of touched on a lot of different aspects, different things that's like going on now that I feel like is stuff that, you know, people need to talk about, think about, whatever. Um, so one of the elements they were um, going over, like the mayor, um, he his phone had got hacked and all his stuff was leaked. You know, this the kids in the school, you know, saw these things. They found out that um he was um homosexual and I guess he was like trying to hide that or whatever from you know why he was doing his campaign and all that stuff. So all that came out. The principal also his phone got hacked, five years worth of information got hacked. Um, and then there was like pictures that you know had ticket of his young child. And that stuff got leaked. So the movie was crazy. Pretty much that was the base of the movie. There was a hacker in town hacking people crap and posting it everywhere for the whole town to see. Yeah, it was crazy. So let's let's start these questions off. So I got one for you. In two words, what would you do if you was hacked, exposed, and your information leaked out? You know? <laughs> After five years of what's on your phone, what, in two words, in two words, what, what would you do? Next flight. I got to be gone, bro. I cannot be. <laughs> Next flight. Yes. I got to be gone. I'm sorry. I have a lot of information. Five years worth of information on my phone. Oh, my goodness. You got that much information on people. Listen, you don't know how many relationships I've been in in five years. You like, I don't want all that. Because like that was embarrassing. Like in the movie. That was like conversation that, okay, for example, like the principal conversation that he had with his spouse, like all that information out, people reading it like it's a Shakespeare play. I ain't got time for that. Pictures, videos, and all that stuff. Exactly. Oh my God. I don't want to comment on them videos, but I'm what? just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying like, I can't, what about you? Two words. Two words. Mm -hmm. Absolutely nothing. What you talking about? I wouldn't, I wouldn't have to go nowhere to do anything. Oh, stop fronting. No. Stop fronting. There, okay, so you telling me five for five years. Five years. You don't have anything embarrassing, nasty, freaky deaky, any of that on your phone. Of course. But so you just okay with the whole world seeing it. Part of me would part of me wouldn't care at all. Why not? Because I don't get embarrassed like that. I just wouldn't care. But dude, like everybody's reading your stuff. So, everybody. Well, to me, I look at it a little different. There's no person on planet Earth that ain't got some freaky pictures or freaky text messages or just crazy stuff in their phone. It's nobody. I so, if my that. stuff leaked out, it, I wouldn't care. I I understand that. Like I said, everybody got those skeletons in the closet, but honey, your closet is wide open. Everybody yeah, yeah, looking. Yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah. Spotlight, honey. Yeah. So, you telling me you will not care? Not That's really. a lot. Not really. Front end. Ain't nobody front. front. End. Ain't nobody front. I I literally could say I almost have nothing to hide. Almost, almost nothing. Who believe that? Y'all believe that? <laughs> Do y'all really believe that? <laughs> Please. I really ain't got no You must have on. a boring life. If that's the case, you have a boring life, bro. No, I ain't got no boring life. Five I'm not, years. I'm not Five saying Five years. Like, there are gonna be pictures, maybe or oh. maybe not of myself. Maybe or maybe not about in a couple of uh, maybe a couple of females. Maybe or maybe not. But hey, once that once it's out, it's out. It doesn't even matter anymore. It's you. out. You've been exposed, you've been mm -hmm. exposed. I ain't got time for it. Man, I'm just saying, you've been exposed. So keep your phone unlocked, man. I want to go and scroll. I want to scroll. You can scroll all you want. I mean, you said ain't nothing to find. I want to look. There ain't nothing to find. Matter of fact, unlock it. Unlock it now. Nah, let me look. You, you no, should. no. You, <laughs> let me look at it now. No, unlock your phone. Oh, exactly. And I'll, I'll maybe, exactly. I got some conversation in there. Maybe I don't want nobody to see right oh, now. Oh, no, no, no. That's but not the if, point. If I get, no, that is the point. 
Because <laughs> if I don't want nobody to see right now, that's why I got a lock on my phone. But if I was hacked and it just happened to go out there in the streets, I'll be mad for a little bit. But <laughs> what can I do? If it's out, it's out. The Frightened. internet is forever. Like I said, fronting. I ain't fronting. I ain't fronting. I mean, it's just, it's the truth. It's the truth. I don't, I don't play these games. So with that being said, let's ask this other question. Is privacy dead? Is it dead? Yeah. Like, do people really have privacy anymore? Because, you know, cell phones, it it listens to everything you say. You might be talking about something, and then you scroll on Instagram or Facebook. There's an ad for that something that you was talking about. Exactly. You know? So and then you got GPS on your phone. Somebody could always tap in and know where you at. And, you know, you got the big boys out there. FBI. Uh, 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 don't say that word up here. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that now. Hey, man, like a, they ain't, they don't want to watch a little Wars ass. Cold. Don't say that out loud. Man, nobody want the FBI don't want I, I, to do. I, I, I just say not to say that. They don't want nothing to do with that. Ain't got time for it. I ain't got time for it. But them but, boys after you, them boys get you. I ain't got time for them, it. Them, CIA, all the mm. all of them, all the little acronyms. Mm. They don't want nothing to do with you. If it's any initials, I don't want to hear it. They don't want nothing to do with you. If you know I out here doing bad things like committing terrorism and doing all this stuff like that, they don't care. Really? Do you know that Ja Rule? <laughs> what Ja Rule do? I'm just saying. What Ja Rule do? I don't, I don't know. Like really. What happened to Ja Rule? <laughs> I don't know. Last thing I heard, last thing I heard, he had a guy into a little little thing with 50. So <laughs> hey, well, you missing but, out, honey. Well, okay, the question is privacy dead. Yes, it's it's like I'm just saying your phone. Okay, everybody's like, oh man, Elon Musk want to put chips in people. Listen, honey, you the chip is already in your hand, I like your phone. Wasn't that Bill Gates? No, it's, it's Elon Musk even talking about no, that. I could have sworn it was Bill Gates. No, about the the coronavirus little thing, and they're gonna what put chips Bill in. Gates alone. Yeah, I think it was Bill Gates. No, it wasn't. Elon Musk said anything Musk. like that. It was him. I, I don't. I don't see a lot of interviews. I'm telling well, you, must have missed the important one. No, I probably did. So it yeah. was him. But yeah. again, we already got the chips in our hand. We carry it around with us. Like we, matter of fact, it's so crazy. We give it to our kids. Like there's little five year old, six year old, seven, eight year old with cell phones. Guess what those cell phones have? They have a SIM card. Guess what that SIM card is doing? It's tracking these kids' whereabouts. Mm -hmm. What well, you mean? Um, what? All cell phones don't have SIM cards anymore. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> all cell phones is tracking device. Yeah. And we are giving these tracking device to our young kids. So they are being tracked. We are being tracked. So, yes, there is no such thing as privacy anymore. Well, in case people didn't know, you know, when they do a murder investigation, they could go through text messages and phone calls they may not could get transcripts of the phone all the phone calls but they could get dates and times and what cell phone tower that they pinged on you know so if i'm over here on this side of the city i had to ping on off a certain cell phone tower for it to make the call for me and all of that is being documented exactly and what makes it even worse like you you go on vacation you go here, you go to a nice fancy restaurant and all this stuff, and you geotag your posts on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. You geotag. You let people know where you are and what time you was there. So if people want to find you or rob your house while you're gone and stuff like that, <laughs> you posting all these pictures, well, you in Mexico and stuff like that. Oh, he ain't home. I know where he live at. Let's go because, rob him. Listen, listen, let me tell y'all how to do this safely. You know, because I, I love tagging restaurants that I go to that's nice because I want to remember. Like, I'm not going to remember that stuff, so I got to, you know, put it in Instagram, something like that. But here's the thing. You don't tag your location to after you left the place. Trust and believe. I had stalkers. You don't. You wait until after you leave. Then you tag it. You put, you know, you post your little pictures, and you're good to go. Simple. Uh, but let me tell you, my uh, phone be tracking me. Google Maps. My Google Maps, like... I, they sent me a thing. It was like, you went to like 10 states. And I'm like, wait a minute, Google. Wait yep. a minute. Yep. They like, always track it. They always track it. So we could agree that privacy is dead, right? It is, dude, you got to hold. G How do a GPS know where I'm at? How that happen? Because your GPS is always on your phone and not many people know how to turn it off. But I'm saying, no, no, no. I'm saying, if I if I put right now, I want to go somewhere, how I know where I'm at? Like, how's it, how's it going to take me somewhere? Because your GPS is on. 
But I'm saying, like, what's what's sending the signal? You aliens. It, what? <laughs> Governments and aliens, yo. I'm so tired of this. We act like we don't know. That's what it is. Freaking aliens, man. Man. I don't know why you laughing. Yeah, you, you just wait. Man, I thought you were going to say something like logical, but no. you talking about aliens. It's the truth. How you going to say it's not? It's the truth, bro. Hey, we don't know if aliens is just not. They bad. do. They How else? Do. How else? Tell me. I mean, I. Tell me. Why are we going to get on I this? could be in a back desert, deserted road. And my GPS knows exactly where I'm at. How does it know that? It's called GPS. How does it know? Exactly. I know what it's a, called, a but how does it know? global positioning okay, so what, system. What, what's sending that GPS to somewhere? Your cell phone. Okay, but my cell phone ain't got service. Your GPS still works. Why does it still work? So my GPS can work, but my mobile data can't work? Oh, that's fraudulent. No, because your cellular uh -huh. data uh -huh. goes through something, no, no, no. another tower, uh -huh. then your what tower? global positioning Who put system. all this in a tower? Who put what in the tower? The information. What information? Of where I'm at. The global positioning system did. It's not the mobile <laughs> tower. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Aliens. <laughs> Point blank, period. Don't, don't, we not gonna get started. That's the really. answer. Like, we not gonna get started on it. And I'm this. sticking with it. <sighs> this is a podcast, but I'm not gonna respond to that. <laughs> y'all keep on. I'm not gonna respond Just to like that. Just like I don't believe in dinosaurs. Y'all keep on. Oh, man. You let these people fool y'all if y'all want to. Oh, we got a conspiracy theorist over saying. here. I'm just saying. Oh, my God. All right. What, what else? What else, man? What else happened in the movie <laughs> so I can go to the damn next question? Because you. <laughs> Go to aliens and dinosaurs. <laughs> this ain't the podcast. This is the right podcast, bro. All right, go ahead. Okay, so um, in the movie, um, there was a scene where the girls were in the gym and they, well, yeah, we kind of went over that about the privacy being dead or whatever. Um, so once this information got out, um, people were like, okay, let's pretty much they create a whole lynch mob. You know, this, the principal needs to resign the mayor needs to resign so the mayor wasn't the mayor killed himself oh yeah he he yeah he blew his he, head off yeah he gonna take it what could take like but but see my thing is so in this culture where it's like all right you did something we don't like done we about to cancel you how do you like how how does how does that work how do you feel what the ca the canceling culture yeah cancel culture <sighs> like cancel I mean, that, who came back from it? Who came back? Oh, what'd you say? Chris Brown? <laughs> Chris Brown? He, he did. He on, he on, Chris Brown did come back, but I'm he sorry. He got into a damn karate match with Rihanna. And but, I'm sorry, Rihanna. You know you my baby. But anyway, he got in a karate match with Rihanna and he... and. But I don't think he got canceled like that. Yes, not, he did, bro. This was years people, ago. People this was, was not. On him. This was not cancel culture. Didn't come up till I think what Trump was president. Nah, so, it was and he did that, that way before that. It was before that. I don't yo. think people was really you canceled, but you wasn't really canceled. Oh, you did this, you did that, slap on the wrist. But it wasn't like cancel culture to me. I don't. What about I, Kills? Because we don't gave him too many tries, bro. We don't <sighs> gave him time bro, after time nah, after time, man. But, he keep messing up. You want, you really want to get started on kills? All right. So everybody, and I do mean everybody, knew that kills was messing with little girls. Everybody knew that, and they accepted it. And we still was all trapped in the closet. I mean, those, <laughs> I I still listen to his music. Like I separate the music from the man, but it's like people hard, have a hard time doing that. You can't you can't separate the person that made the song and still listen to the song and enjoy it. I can. I can. If somebody was dead wrong in what they did and all that stuff like that, and they got canceled or whatever, I still could listen to well, them and watch or whatever this person's art. Right. But see, my my thing is it's just like history. It's like if people say, Oh, well, man, I can't listen to R. Kelly song because of this. Okay, what about all these white explorers, all these people that we knew did all this crazy stuff, we still learning in school, and we okay for our kids to they learn get, it. We, all, get all we the okay credit. with that. They get all the credit. You know what still. I'm saying? And they, even though we know the truth, was, it's like... It, it was rape, pillage, and murder. So and, it, and then they still get all the credit, but 
I mean, I'm, I'm not turning. Let me not like I listen to him every single day, but if his song comes on, I'm not gonna go out of my way to turn it on. No, bro, just saying, bro, sit here, play half on a baby, play half on a baby, and see what, see what I'll start doing. See what I'll start. <laughs> I mean, come on, bro, step in the name of love, come on, man, like that's Kells. I know what he did. But damn, I mean, that I music more, is I amazing. I believe I can fly. You know, how about more of his positive things now? But I can believe I can fly. Okay. but Step in the name of love. Yeah, step in the name of love. But uh, come on, man. 12 Play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Not just you. a song, the I album 12 Play. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. Come on, man. And don't forget the stuff that he has with the Osley Brothers. Like, come on. How I'm, you doing, Mr. B? He's a part of culture. <laughs> I mean, I, I understand what, you know. Like I said, what what he's, you know, they they putting on him, whatever the case may be, but he's still part of the black culture, and I we think can't. He's, he's still locked up. Yeah, he is. But day. he hasn't been a trial. Is he ain't been found guilty on anything what? yet? I don't think he probably he's still waiting. I mean, he might be more than likely, but that boy is in jail, and everybody in there making him toot that thing up. Oh, I'm what? Nah, nah, nah. I nah, feel nah. bad for kills. Really. Nah, like, he. Not really, because he sure shouldn't be messing with the little girl. Bro, did you see that documentary on him? Okay, we we getting off the topic. Yeah, I'm just we saying. getting off the topic. Well, we but about I did, ca- I did see it, and I, I ain't gonna lie. When I watching that, I don't know who put that together, but watching that, I was like, yeah, he guilty, bro. Yeah. Like no. I was like, I couldn't even finish it because, like, probably after episode two, three, I was like. Kills, kills. I'm oh, sorry, man. man. I couldn't even watch it, bro. Like, I, I'm first sorry. First of all, I don't, I don't like anything with males messing with little girls like that. First of all, but secondly, that's that's kills. You I know mean, what I'm saying? So I got through episode two, and then I just couldn't watch no more. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm saying I think I got two to three, and then but I had to also blame the parents. So I'm like, y'all so y'all kids. I don't care, bro. Y'all knew good and well this is a grown man. Why is your underage child with this grown man? So I'm sorry, but if we're gonna blame one, we need to blame we need to put everybody involved in this. Yeah. That simple. Yeah, yeah. That simple, I guess you bro. can say the same thing about Michael Jackson too, then. So all right. So next one, what 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 point we got? Um, so okay, so where are we at in this movie? So uh the girls, uh, the people got hacked, they're talking about the hacking. So in this movie, it seemed like the girls really weren't caring because the people who got hacked, it was like, Oh, oh well, so that's just them, not me. So eventually the entire town gets hacked. So well, most of the cha- uh, most of the town or whatever gets hacked or whatever, and all their information is out. So at that point, Everybody is like, you know what? Uh uh-uh. uh. Instead of us like getting on the information, we see we need to figure out the person who's putting all this out. So, what are your thoughts on hackers? Are they heroes or villains? Uh, it depends on what you hacking. What the? What do you mean? Yes, Explain. It, dep- it depends on I'm what you hacking. Okay. So, hackers could be hacking somebody's personal information and leaking it out to the public and stuff like that. Stuff like you know, just. Oh, what something. hackers do? Yeah, like what they do. Okay, not all hackers do that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there was, um, I guess he was speaking for experience. Well, I'm speaking for stories. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So there was, I'm, I guess you want to call him a hacker. He actually worked for like the CIA, FBI, and all that stuff like that. So his name. Why was, you keep saying these? Na- what I told you, Bo? Because they don't want nothing. You done to said do it three it. times. We about to get look. They tapped in. They, they, they done tapped in now. Well, let them listen. They don't want nothing to do with. Twinkle and twin? I don't care. They done tapped in. You done said it three times, bro. Hey, I ain't doing nothing. Hey, stay candy away, stay away from man, my black candy ass. Man. I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you say no okay to candy man. <laughs> but, all right, it was a dude that worked for them, right? Mm-hmm. His name was Edward Snowden. You ever Snowden? heard of him? Snowden? Yeah, Snowden. That's you an ugly name. Keep going. Uh, they made a movie on him. So he was working. Oh, for Snowden. Snowden. Yeah. Is that the guy that had, like, the camera... Was it snow, snow and above where he had like the camera? He was going no, around town. What are you talking God, about? My God. <laughs> Don't you know? I know what you're talking about, snow and above, but this is something totally different. <sighs> Snowden, Edward Snowden. Okay, he okay. worked for these agencies, right? Mm-hmm. And he leaked out information that he found while he was working for these agencies. Is that the so, leaky guy? Yeah, the, that's guy. it. 
WikiLeaks? Yeah, the Wiki? uh, WikiLeaks. Okay, Wiki. yeah, yeah. So he he told everybody that your government is spying on you, mm -hmm. and they are listening to your conversations. They are looking at your text messages. They looking at your apps. Everything, mm -hmm. everything, and they. He's a wanted man right now. He's he's in Russia, can't where there's no extradition laws, and he can't come back to America because he told that we was being hacked pretty much. Everybody that has a cell phone, like you said, is being is you walk around with a, a chip in you pretty much. Mm -hmm. So was he wrong for telling us this? If you if you're if you're hacking and exposing for a purpose. Maybe you can get you. I mean, you can get some leeway. For example, like um, what was it? The person who leaked the information about the 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 Tuskegee, the people that was Tuskegee the, Airmen, yeah. No, whatever. Giving the people those um, that's that's the Tus syphilis, yeah. That's Tuskegee Airmen. Uh huh. So, like with <laughs> <laughs> yo man, like I'm just saying, if it went for them, no one would have believed it. Right. Like. These men dying, and it's like okay, but no one would believe the mess. So, so if, if you're hacking for a purpose, you know, for a better cause, then go ahead and hack the way. But so hackers can be heroes and villains, is what we're saying. They like Robin Hood. They the, steal from the rich and provide for the poor. What are you talking about, Robin Hood, the little stock app? Because I got beef. <sighs> Well, I'm just saying that's why you're supposed to have fidelity. Uh, just yeah, saying. Yeah, we ain't gonna talk about that. Checks but, and balances. <laughs> Checks and balances. So, but yeah, they could they could be heroes and villains. If, like I said, if you're doing it for a purpose, you're you can be a hero. Okay, in this movie sense, the the reason why that was a villain. That be was a villain because there was no reason. Like that man's sexual history, that man's sexual present is that man's sexual preference. What I even. Even though you know what I'm saying he was against it and all this stuff, like there's no need to put him on blast. That's what he doing his bedroom, what he doing his bedroom. Like they don't need to go out there. And then like for like for the, the guy, the principal, when they leaked his stuff, he had his daughter's, you know, pictures in there. And it's like that's like y'all running right here passing child pornography. You want to call him a child molester, but y'all are literally passing this child naked picture around. So it's like I didn't get it. It's like we we so quick to point fingers at people, but you are adding to that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you're you're rotating this stuff out there. I don't know, but yeah, in the movie that was a villain because he's just doing that stuff. Just he didn't have a reason to do it. Right for yeah. the L, for the lols, really for the lols, really the, the lols. <laughs> so I mean, really, the whole thing. The whole thing. Once he seen what leaking information was, do, was doing, because remember he only did a couple people at a time. Then he went and did like the whole town. Mm -hmm. So once he seen what was happening, like the mayor killed herself, and he continuously leaking information. Like what you think gonna happen? Somebody killed himself over the information that leaked on because his image is messed up. What you gonna think about the dude that uh found his his wife information? on here and find out she's been cheating for the past 10 years and stuff like that he's gonna kill her that, yeah that's what i'm saying like to me he was a villain he didn't care about other people and that was the issue it's like okay like you you have no purpose not like this guy you know what i'm saying you was trying to save the community or whatever you was doing this to out of boredom so nah yeah he was a villain he literally said it was dead for the likes the the, the lols the lols mm -hmm. i guess <laughs> which is ridiculous to me like you gonna did you see what happened like people was out here dying in the streets and you you did it for the for the likes bro like damn he did it for the lols you're like you is a menace that's Ain't a no menace way, bro. that's a menace all right so last topic for the first half what we got um, how much time do we have? We got before yeah. we go to the next segment. Okay, I think we got enough time. So, okay, so identifying objects. All right, so Lily, once the information got out, Lily saw that the guy that she had been sending sexting, um, she saw her necklace. Like she never put her face in the pictures, but she did have like her necklace showing and different things in the background. So she was identified by her boyfriend um due to like the necklace and also a birthmark that she had on her so question do you have any identifying 
marks tattoos tattoos yeah what else i got a couple birthmarks in places that only certain people should know no so anybody can see it yeah i got one on like my finger and no, got... no 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 we talking about we talking about your stuff getting hacked and if you sent out you know sexy pictures to people oh, do you have you talking about d pics I... uh, well that's different because i could spot my d in the in the lineup like what the... <laughs> I, I know that thing do you... through and through so that's not <laughs> even the question what? bro i can spot that thing a mile what? away i'm like is that my thing <laughs> do you feel like is that identifying that a female that's been with you can be like oh yeah i know that uh-huh i know who exactly that belongs to yeah or it's just gonna just blend in with everything else no nah, so you think it'll stand out yeah what makes it stand out oh jesus <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, oh, I mean, man, so we on. on the topic. I'm pleading fifth. I'm pleading fifth. We ain't gonna talk about this right here. So, again, so what think, about you? I think you fronting, bro. There ain't nobody fronting. I think you fronting. What you talking ain't, about? Ain't got nothing to do with me. I think you fronting. Yeah. I ain't got no tattoos, so I ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. I ain't got no, no tattoos. Birthmark. I ain't no, got no tattoos. No birthmarks or nothing. My birthmark, everybody can see I got a birthmark on my thigh. Everybody can see that. Uh, so nobody be able to spot them breasts a mile away. What? Like, no, you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, hey, I know those no, 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 no. First of all, no. That's, that's, anyways. Back to oh, you. No, no. How, how, we gonna, how did this conversation get on me? How did this get on we me? We both answered the question. I'm you no the back on you. We need to get it back oh, on you. No, bro. No, bro. I, you know what? Let's go to our. Let's. We about to go to segment two, guys. So we about to wrap this on up. No, why we so, wrap why we it on? Up? Up. We got a couple more minutes. So can we? Since we own that, wrapping things up. Question. Hmm. So, since you said it could be spotted in the lineup, I can't because it's mine. Oh, no, no, no. Because I, I specifically asked you if a female has been with you, would she be able to ID it? Some of them. Because it was dark a lot of times. Oh, my goodness. Well, you, what? The dude with the lights on? Yes. Why, why, why is it off? Because I like it dark. A little candle lit, you know what I'm saying? Or so she can't see the little. The the what the little the, watch your mouth. I'm just I mean you speak of blasphemy. What, I, but why is it why why the lights off? I'm confused. I like to set the mood. Don't you want to see what you're doing? I could I see with my hands. Oh my goodness! Is that is that, that's all you need? So your hands is your eyes? My hands, my mouth. Oh. I can, that's it. <laughs> I can see. I can see. That's all oh I need. My God. I know where everything at. Unless you are aliens or something. Unless oh she, unless God. she an alien. But how would you? Oh. But you, you wouldn't know. So what if she's new? What she so got? if she knew, we had straight... to get in the room and the lights had to be on. At... So what? Uh. As I'm saying, so what do you do? Like you just turn the light straight off? You be like, all right, it's it's love making time. Lights off. <laughs> like <laughs> clap, clap. First of all, let's it... start slapping them cheeks. <laughs> like how does that work? First of all, ain't nobody got the clapping no more. Bro. Let me so tell they... you. Let me tell you. Clap, clap, lights on, lights off. So you, you, why you keep bringing it off for you? Though? No, because I'm, I'm interested in you. No, no, I am interested no, in no, you. No, no, I need you I, to answer the I question. I know, too. I am interested in you. you, be, you be so right go now. ahead, like, answer my question. I said enough. You haven't said so. Enough. No, tell me the percentage. What? How many women? Like out of out of a hundred percent of women you've been with, what's the percentage that would know that could pick it out? <sighs> and you said it to me. How or why? Is it like size, like length, width, like birthmark? It's all of that, and it's and it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, I don't mess with cute, honey. It's, it's, it's a pretty little thing. Uh, no, pretty, pretty is pretty, nice. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty cute like the same. perfect little thing. It's like I'm glad you admit little. <laughs> there ain't nobody said little. <laughs> <laughs> so all right so we got to get ready for segment two we're gonna, i hate you <laughs> we're gonna end this and we're gonna start with segment no, two no no you gonna say something no so guys let's something. pay we gotta pay some bills okay no. <laughs> we gotta pay some i hate bills. you bro i'm sorry 
We need to start on this topic. No, the next we segment. Not. God, we're playing game. We're gonna go pay some bills, okay? We'll be right back. All right. All right. Stay tuned. Yes. And we are back for part two. Twinkie just threw me under the bus in part one. Aww, so it's okay. I'm ready to quit. But <laughs> we're not gonna talk about that right now. We're just gonna keep it moving. What you got? All right, so uh, this movie. So at this point in the movie, we uh, once everybody thinks are hacked, um, Lily, the character, she finds that um, she her boyfriend's realized that it's her in these pictures, um, very graphic, suggestive pictures that she took the sent to um, the guy. Um, her parents, I guess, recognize her too in these pictures. And they ask her, you know, is that you? Is that you? She's like, yeah. And they're like, all right, get on out the house. So um, Dragged her out the house. Yeah. And they was like, you got to go demon child. So was the parents' response right when they kicked her out the house? Ah, uh, that's a tough one. That's tough. Depending on like your beliefs and all that stuff like that. And I'm just speaking on them, not speaking on myself. I mean, teach his own. I mean, if you can't have somebody living in your house, they want to be out here acting grown and all that stuff. But at the same time, she's a kid. She's a kid. If you was gonna check somebody, you check her. Put her in line, you know, and you paying for that cell phone bill, you take the cell phone, mm -hmm. whatever, so she can't do no more. But you go over there, you fight old dude that she just sent the pictures now, to. Now, that is, that was my thought, because I'm like, as the dead, instead of you kicking your daughter out the house, he should have walked right across that street, knocked on that man's door, and punched him dead in his face. Yeah, dude. Like, you got my child sending you what? And you got a whole wife over here? Well, we're not going to cite violence, but we just going to say we... We do some things to him that he doesn't want done to him. Yeah, because I, I think the anger was it was put the wrong way. It's like she didn't wake up one day and like, let me send this stuff to him. This man is asking for these things. So I felt like. Well, you should, still should be mad at her, too, for sending these pictures. I understand. But, but he she, she should know better. She's young. And he's a grown man. Yeah. So I felt like. So both are in the wrong. But I say it's more like. 75 25 like 75 percent the grown man 25 percent the young girl you but know? he took advantage of her because you heard us because in the story she was like they were riding like he would drive her home which i didn't understand because live right across the street but whatever um but then he would drive her home or whatever after babysitting and one day he put his hand in her lap so you know what I'm saying like to me i i don't care i don't care what my daughter sent my issue will be with the man because, like, you are a grown man with a spouse. Well, first of all, you should definitely care what your daughter's saying. Because it should know. She should know that's not okay. But, I understand. But, yo, def, but yo, my anger the majority of your issue should be with him. My anger would have been with him. I'm sorry. Yeah, it got to be with him. She's a victim? Yes. Even though she pressed send on those pictures. It don't matter. She wouldn't. Because here's the thing. She's a she, victim and accomplice. She wasn't, she wasn't sending those pictures to her boyfriend. She was sending her picture to the grown man. Right. So that was my issue. Now, if she was sending it to the boyfriend and everybody else around the world, that would have been a different story. But she's sending it to this grown man. So my that's my issue. It's like, all right, so what, what what's going on? Why is she sending you this kind of stuff? So you asked for it. What are you, what are you not taught her? What are you not show? Like, I don't know. That's so you, you wouldn't kick your daughter out of the house? Because we both got daughters. So let's say, would you kick your daughter out of the house for this? In that scene, no, I wouldn't. Like I said, I probably been going to jail because I definitely would have went across. I would have went across the street or whoever. Like the man in the house, hey, go over there and check that mess. Yeah. If you can't do it, I'm gonna have to do it. Yeah. But I probably wouldn't go to jail that day. So I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be kicking my daughter out of the house. She would definitely get yelled at. I'll take her phone, take a computer, take all that. You know what I'm saying? So she ain't sending pictures to nobody no more. No phone calls, no text messages, no nothing. She ain't doing none of that. But I would definitely go and put hands on this man. Like, no question about it. No question. So all right, next thing is, um, so you see how people got hat, the whole city, right, got hat, and how crazy people got mm -hmm. after that. And then they found out it was her, and then everybody's stuff came out. Well, it wasn't really her, but it, she got blamed for it. Everybody's stuff came out, and people just out here in the streets, whoever was the f fault of, like, their despair from the 
the information that they seen that got leaked, you know, they was getting dealt with. People was getting shot, killed, stabbed, whatever, out here in the streets. So do you think this could have happened in real life? Mm. Well, I hope it don't happen, especially not in a little town I stay in, because oh. that would be crazy. Well, do you I think it could, though? I can see it happening, because we... I mean, people banks and stuff, like, you know, bank account information get hacked. So what if the hacker want to be petty? Like, you know what? Instead of me hacking this stuff for your money, I want to hack this stuff for embarrassment. I'm going to hack this stuff and post this where I know everybody can have access to. So I can see that actually happening. Um, but the town going crazy. I if, if you have a good job and you got anything negative on your phone, I can see you not having that job no more. Now, if you're just a common man, I probably don't, I mean, probably won't too much happen to you. Well, I'm talking about to this extent. Do you think, oh, they have oh let's just they say have war. the city that we live in, right? Mm-hmm. They go out here and after that, they'll start it's like straight up killing each other. You know what I'm saying? Like shooting, teaming up against certain people that like oh she was messing with me me and me but i was supposed to be her main dude and stuff like that you know it's like let's go get this girl i think it, i think it boils down to particular races because <laughs> i feel like some races it's not gonna we're gonna be mind our own business it's like you dang, man, I think it, that's messed up we might make some memes about it you know might screenshot that thing post it on the internet but as far as going out buying guns and bullets and want to seek justice for stuff that ain't got nothing to do with us i don't see that happening no bro. i disagree i think all races all races will be out here doing crazy stuff Cause you, mayhem. yes because you've seen people do stuff for less you remember that video a couple months ago with that girl i guess she found out her man was cheating and she was out there and she tried to blow up her man car okay but i that's different that's personal. So you tell them that, but these people all this is this is personal information that's being leaked yeah but these people were like I'm going to wreck this city until I find out who the person who hacked this stuff. Like, it didn't say everybody in the city stuff got hacked, but that was that seemed like everybody in the town was a part of this. Yes, because everybody in the town stuff got leaked. So they started going and getting revenge on certain people. They felt me, like they're wrong. Hear me out. How about this? How about we just don't care about other people's information? What's the purpose of causing all this havoc and mayhem? We just don't need it. Just don't care. Like, I got skeletons in my closet. She got skeletons in her closet. So her stuff come out, my stuff come out. Oh, well. Why can't we just keep moving? Well, Why we got it? Like, we so outrageous. Like, oh, my God. Like, you was really sleeping with him? Like, yes, honey. You know I was sleeping with him. So what's the problem? Because everybody don't feel the same. So what that one dude, he was sleeping with his main girl. He was sleeping with you, and he was sleeping with three other girls. But what you think his main girl going to do when he, she think I, uh, she out here think that he's being faithful? She going to come if she actually she really she think that? Probably. I mean, for anybody being cheated on, did you really not know that you were being cheated on? You knew. Something. You had an idea. You had come a feel. You had a feeling that woman intuition or whatever the case. You knew that he was perhaps out there cheating. Some. So I don't get. Uh, uh, I don't want to hear that when people be like, I mean, "Oh well, I gotta see proof. I ain't gotta see no proof, honey." You know, like you start I know, moving different. You different. You know, like I know some females are naive to where they see certain signs. So. But my thing is, why you want to come fight me? Go fight you. Especially if he's sleeping with two other people. Why you coming to fight me? Fight your man. Your man the one got the problem, honey. He can't stay faithful to you. Or maybe you got the problem, baby girl. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's I mean, the issue. I mean, what if you, if she's like, did you know? Did you know? If you say yes, you if, did. Even if, okay. So. Even, no, no, nobody false anybody. When you cheating, right? Nobody faults anybody if you didn't know. You really can't fault that person. If no, they yes, didn't but know. people do. People but, do. Uh, they yeah, want to get so mad at a female. Like, okay, how I know he got a girlfriend if he at my house all the time? How I know he got a wife if he at my house all the time? So what are you doing? What are you doing when he's with me? Yeah, but if you knew, and he over here cheating with you, and he got a whole girl out here, and you didn't know, or you're not to blame. But if you knew, you just as much to blame as him. How? Because I'm not in a relationship with her. That's him. Doesn't matter. No, no, no. Doesn't it matter. does matter. I'm not in a relationship with her. No, because you. That's that's his. That's, that's a golden rule. Uh-uh. At least as a dude, that's a golden rule. For me, you don't mess with married females. Okay. If she married, but you don't mess with. You leave she, alone. You respect their relationship. She took that vow to that man, not me. 
I didn't take the vow to him. I didn't take the vow to her. Now, not that I'm promoting cheating or having affairs. Sounds like But it. no, I'm not. But, <laughs> but what I'm saying is that vow was between that husband and wife. You sound that like ain't a terrible got, person. That right? ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm just saying it ain't got nothing to do with me. So don't be coming at me trying to fight me and do all this other kind of crazy stuff. That is between y'all two. Because you knew and you didn't respect If it ain't me or somebody else. If it ain't me and somebody it better, else. Well, if some, if, if, so, but that's my, that's the point. So I it's mean, like, oh, well, well, let it be somebody else. No, no, no. Yeah, let How it be about, somebody no. else. Check somebody the else man. Gonna, somebody Check else going to end woman. up dead, not you. No. <laughs> Check the cheater. The cheater needs to be checked, not the other people. The cheater needs to be checked. Well, we just sat here and said that both of them need to be checked, like with the, with the little girl and this grown man. Both of them need to be checked. No, and you said place. both need to be checked. I said that that husband, that man that had a whole wife, that man had a whole child, that grown, rusty man, he should have been checked. So you, you wouldn't you do nothing to your daughter for that shit? Oh, trust me. When she see what happened to him, she she wouldn't need nothing done to her. Man, come She wouldn't need nothing done to her. Come on. Come on. It's both parties. To and me. then at that point, she'd already been exposed. So the embarrassment was already done. Her punishment, she... The hacker punished her by posting all that stuff out there. So she'd already been embarrassed at school. Right. So at that point, there's no need of me doing anything extra. My thing now is to correct this little pedophile out here in the streets. That's what I need to do. Mm. Mm. So that, I mean, I'm just saying, but Ugh. to each his own. Mm, I, I, to each I, I got to disagree with you. All right. If you make me mad, what, what is she <laughs> got? <laughs> um... So let's see, let's see. Online bullying. Um, unrealistic expectation of females. So in this movie, that's pretty much what we come across. It's a lot of online bullying. And um, the Lily, she kind of do like a little monologue at the end about how she felt like women has this unrealistic expectation um, that men and society put on them. What are your thoughts on that? Do you feel like she was true? Did you did you believe her pain, her hurt, or do you feel like that, that she was is, exaggerating? That's absolutely true. Like no question, no question. Do you see some of these Instagram models these days? Oh, who you telling? It's it's ridiculous. And for the fact that you got little girls growing up looking at these Instagram models and think like they have to be that to be light because mm-hmm. they see oh this. This girl got 20,000 likes. She got right. 30,000 likes. She got 100,000. Look at Rihanna. She got 100,000 likes on her picture and stuff like that. And they think they got to be that. All glammy all the time and stuff like that. It's unrealistic. It's unrealistic. It I never, I'm not a fan of unrealistic beauty myself. I, I like it. You know, I'm a man. I like it. It's nice. Mm-hmm. But if I'm going to date somebody, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you ain't got to do all that. Like, you don't, don't want to pay for all that because that's a well, lot of not, maintenance. Well, that's some money. That is high maintenance. That is high maintenance, and now that's a. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. You don't have to walk out there trying to look like a movie star every night. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm pretty sure, it, especially somebody like me that appreciates originality in this day and age of a fake. That's fake. Well, she could be original with her eye color. Yeah. What? <laughs> or original with her eyeshadow or nah, original with her couture. No, nah, bro. Because it'll do like me. I like originality. So if I met you and I ended up talking to you, you was original when I met you. You wasn't she all was glammed up. And when you get glammed up, that's just, it got to be a special occasion or something like that. But I don't like t- all this glam and all this stuff like that. It's unrealistic because you you literally can't not look up, uh, wake up every day like that. Like Beyonce said. Beyonce, when you see her, she did not wake up like that. She lying when she said she woke up like this. She lying. Well, if she sleeps in a makeup, she can't wake up like Shit. that. Nah, bro. Who sleeps? She want to be comfortable. She going to take off them clothes. She going to take off that wig. She going to take off her little cake face. And she going to have a nice little slumber. You know? You think that's why Jay-Z stayed with her? Because how she look in the videos? Oh, uh, do uh, you think she really walk around the house looking like well, that? Jay-Z Is she not recording? Young, so he got a dream. Exactly. So, but I'm I'm pretty sure she wasn't looking like that. She's not looking like that every day, all day. She ain't waking up like that. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I I appreciate the realness 
And I don't think it's right for us to put these images in our daughter's minds that this is what you got to look like to be light in this world. You know, first of all, you ain't got to be light at all. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be all glammed up. and You ain't got to do none of that stuff. Just be yourself. Be normal. Is it is it glammed up or is it just over the top? It's a bit of both. It's different than being glammed up and like for photo shoots and stuff like that. Those are for special occasions. There's nothing wrong with that. But going over the top, like you, what one thing that drives me crazy: females that put on a pound of makeup to go to the grocery store. Mm-hmm. You going somewhere simple, but you can't you can't look like a normal person. And if you ask any girl that actually does that, that that has to get glammed up like for her job and stuff like that, that stuff is exhausting. So when she want to go to the gas station and get some chips or something like that, she don't put all that. What she put on sweatpants and a hoodie and some Uggs and she she'll go. But do you? But don't you think that these female they do this because there's men that call them unattractive or. There, because let me tell you something. It'd be the I, I ain't gonna say the ugliest, but it'd be some men with their only insecurities. They got the first thing to say about a woman: "You need to fix this on your body," or they want to make fun of oh, your forehead too big, or your this is whatever the case may be. And these women, when they hear this stuff, it's like, well, I know how I can fix this. I can, you know, I can do this or whatever, and this will make me. If he thought that this was something wrong with me, and if I do this and I look good. Like well, it depends on what he's telling you. It depends on what he's telling. Let me you. tell you, men, men with low self esteem will break a woman down. Yeah, yeah. But now, if you know that he doesn't have a low self esteem, and he's telling you like, yeah, but you don't know that you're in love. So all you know is the man you love is telling you you need to fix this, you need to fix that, or you know what, that boo job will look nice. Well, or mm-hmm. you know what. Um, you might need, you you know you need to do some squats. You know a better booty will look. You know what I'm saying? No, like well, it but, don't matter that that feeds into a woman. Like that mess there. Like it whether you mean it or don't mean it, they think about that. That runs through their mind. So that means you don't like my breasts. That means you don't like my butt. That not, means I'm not perfect to you. That means you don't like my body. That's not true. And let me tell you something. This is not the Eve song. Love is not blind. Love is not blind. Love has eyes. Mm-hmm. Love has eyes. So if he's telling you something, it depends on what it is. It depends on what it is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like if you got a big girl, right? And you're like, oh yeah, you gotta lose, you gotta lose some weight. This is not healthy. He's not telling you that because like he's trying to be malicious or anything like that. He l- literally told you this is not healthy. Okay, but you know it's her saying? body. Let her determine. Let her and her daughter determine whether that weight is healthy or not. No, no daughter. But my thing, no daughter on planet Earth gonna but, say a big girl healthy. But it, my thing is, so you come at a woman be like, "Oh, you need to lose weight. That ain't healthy for you. You stupid. You need to lose weight." No, that's how that sound. But it ain't what you say is how you say it too. But that's how that sound. How wouldn't a better thing would be? Guess what, babe? I'm about to go on a diet, and I'm gonna eat healthy. Therefore, she keeps seeing you doing, it, and maybe that might make her do it. Exactly. Not no, but no, but you're not gonna. But you just said you. Gonna, you can't go to nobody's face and be like, oh, you need to lose weight. That ain't healthy for you, honey. That's crazy. Well, that's that's That lower well, people's I'm, self-esteem. I'm saying this to you. I'm saying this on the damn podcast. I'm not speaking to my significant other. I'm sure you done said that to somebody. I definitely it have. It came out way too easy I for you. Yes, it has. Yes, it did. But I'm just saying, when some people don't have fully malicious intent. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, but it. what you say? It ain't. How and you say it, it ain't what you say is how mm, you say it. It ain't how you say it. It's the fact that you said it, and they heard it. That's what it is. Well, you wanted them to hear. That's why you said it. Exactly, but it's how they take it. That can hurt somebody. What if you say it all nicely and you? There's no way. There's no up? way to nice say it. you're fat, lose weight. There's no way because that's what it is at the end of the day. So, so if I got a girlfriend that's overweight and that I want to help her be healthy, but are you who? Who are you to say that she, her body is overweight? You wait. You ever you ever seen an eighty year old fat person? Eighty. Eighty. You ever seen anybody fat make it? I don't 80 know. Years I even seen anybody eighty. No, because it doesn't happen. Because it doesn't happen. Being being a big girl. And I'm sorry, all y'all big girls out there, but uh, being big is not healthy. Being overweight is not healthy. You, it ain't just me. It's the doctor. Go ask the doctor. But some people like big women. 
that's fine. That's fine. And if you got a big girl and you don't want her to lose weight, hey, that's fine too. More than likely, you probably be too. But anyway, not necessarily. That's, that's fine. That's fine too. But I'm saying, if if I, me personally, I'm just speaking about me. If I see something and it's not healthy, like healthy for your health, for your well being, I am gonna say something. If you see something that's not healthy for me and good for my well being. I want to. I want you to tell me too. That shows me that you care about me, and you want to see this go in the long run. I understand. It's understandable, but it shouldn't be a man to tell a woman what she needs to fix for her body. That's the whole thing. It. Sh- I don't care whether it's healthy for her or not healthy for her. Good for her, or not good for her. It shouldn't be a man to tell her that, unless it's her doctor and just so happens it's a man. It should not be a man. Somebody she dating, somebody she likes, somebody she crushing on. It should not be anybody in the role say, "Hey." You need to change this on your body. Well, uh, a a dude shouldn't be dating a big girl if he's gonna tell her to lose weight. You know what I'm saying? Some people do. Some people do. Some people do. They want to change people. Like, why you want to change me? No, nah, because you, maybe you like the person. It, it, it's not uh, some people. So you want do. me? So you want me to fit? You like my mind, but you can't take my whole me. You can't take my body. So you want me to adjust my body to fit what? To fit what you think I should look like in your brain, but what if I never reach that? Well, it's not what you fit in your brain; it's what you, what that person and maybe your doctor considered to be healthy because they want that relationship to last. They want to be together forever, and if you're not healthy, you might die early. And you can die in a car accident. Yeah, you could die in a car accident. Yes, you can, but you can also die from a heart attack for being overweight. I guess I win. I win. <laughs> I win. Okay. Finally, I won a conversation with Twinkle. You did. I just gave up. I just gave up. For sake of time, guys. That's all. All right. All right. So, next one. All right. So, at the end, also, we found out that this was not her that that did it, that leaked the information that exposed everybody out here in the streets. We found out that it was her brother. Her the, brother. the brother that everybody was ignoring. Yeah, much. the younger brother. We barely saw him. We saw him like twice. And he was the one that did this to the whole city. He got people murdered. So the question is, what would you do if you find out your brother ruined your life? Oh, the cows better get him before I get him. <sighs> Just saying. I, I feel the same way. Just I feel saying. kind of the same way. All, all my brothers know. They could get these hands. <laughs> all of them though. They could get these hands. I got all the smoke for all of my brothers. All of them. And I got a couple of them. So they know they get these hands. This is a certified clip right here. I'm going to make this a clip because I'm on them here. Whatever. Oh, my God. <laughs> they get these hands. But I'm saying, is that crossing the line, though? Like, why would your brother do something like that to you? Well, that's the thing. He didn't know his sister was sexting that grown man right so but when you had to you had he had to find out right well not necessarily he could have just hacked information and it looked like it was like a chat and the other boy marty was the one who was posting it to the school so it looks like the brother was just he was finding a way to hack the information and putting it on something and the other guy was finding it and posting it where everybody can see it right so he might not have that's what i'm saying like it, it didn't make sense to me because he was hacking this information but he might not have been looking at it. It was just like, okay, well, I got access to this. And I'm sure there's some dirt in there. Let's see what the school thinks. And then, you know, then like, oh, look at this. Look at this. So I don't know. I don't think he meant to do it on purpose. Like expose his sister because he didn't know that she was doing that. Mm-hmm. But maybe it was jealousy. Who knows? Yeah. Well, I... I- I only can see one reason, and he said the reason. He did it for he did it for the LOLs. He did it for the likes. He did it for the lows. You know what I'm saying? Smiley, both smiley. Why would you go after your like your family member for that? Uh, and this day and age, yes, you gonna you, what people won't do for likes is amazes me. You see, you see all these videos on Facebook, Instagram. Mm-hmm. People do almost anything for likes. But see, what I didn't what I didn't like about it was the fact that when they thought the sister when they thought the daughter, Lily, was sending the pictures to well, she did not thought that she did. When they found out that she was sending the pictures to the old man, they kick her out the house. Like, oh my God, so disgusted for you to be my daughter. But yet the son is sitting in there in the police office 
Like he done hacked all these people things. Like people done killed themselves, murdered other people. And like they in it, mama in and, and, and they're sitting in there. And I'm like, oh, why'd you do this? Like that, that, that kind of made me mad. I'm like, what kind of sexist mess is this? Like this dude had done more harm than this girl sending private pictures. She a 18 pri- year old. She sent private pictures, and he literally started something that got people murdered. I'm saying, like, he caused a whole war in the town. Yeah, but almost it, got his sister killed. It just, I don't know. That that part didn't sit right with me. Yeah, so, I mean, the, the stint people go for likes is crazy. Yeah. Oh, um, so there was a part in that movie mm. um, where Marty, when he pretty much gave up Lily, he was like, oh, well, Lily was the one who told me to do it. He made his whole lie or whatever. Um, so they pretty much tortured him. Okay. So, real. If you think about it, can you really believe someone who's being tortured? Because I feel like you're gonna say anything to get them to stop. Mm-hmm. But how would you torture someone? Mm-hmm. Like if you had to get information out of them, how would you do it? Well, take notes from like those acronyms that you don't like so much. <laughs> <laughs> they said they supposedly they stopped torturing people because. Of people that's under those stressful situations, they will say anything to get you to stop torturing them. You know what I'm saying? Which I believe is true. If somebody is hurting you and you don't know the hurt, answer and, and you, you truly don't know, don't know the know? answer, right? Now, if you do know the answer, you're gonna tell it. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't know the answer, then yeah. You're gonna tell them what they want to hear. You're gonna tell them what they want to hear just so they can stop hurting you. But torturing some what's the question? To- what how I told you. How would you torture someone? Like if you had to get information, like you know what I mean? You gotta get information on this person. Like, what would you do? I'm gonna take notes from that movie Zero Dot Thirty. I think he was hanging dude upside down, starving him, <laughs> waterboarding, little electric shock. Oh my god! You know, depending on what I'm torturing for. Now, old boy, you know, my daughter's sending these nudie pics to old boy across the street. Yeah, I'm gonna get creative. I'm gonna get a heart. <laughs> I'm about to pull a move of uh, a line from Pulp Fiction. A hard hitting dudes, and we gonna go to work. Oh, oh boy, we gonna go to work. Oh, we gonna we gonna get medieval on his ass. Oh my goodness, we going all the way in. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could waterboard him. You know what I'm saying? Waterboard is very effective, from what I've seen. It, I only know from movies. Yeah, true, true. I only know zero dot thirty, little safe house. You know, my boy Denzel is like, you need six hundred. You need six hundred. I don't know what that means, but it's kind of tower that you need. I guess it pertains to the thickness. I don't know. You see that? That's <laughs> that's too much, yo. That was like way too much. It's the little things that counts when you're torturing people. You can't get no little thin little dollar store towel and put it over their face and try to torture them with that it's gonna suck but you go get those thick towels those real thick ones oh my god bro and you put it over their face and i i think it'll be guess of the year <gasps> yeah that, that's how you it's effective it's effective if they know what you want them to tell you that's what i'm saying if not then you just did all that for what yeah how would you torture somebody i would have to take something out of the book of saul like I just like that kind of stuff. Like book of what? So what's that? So one, so two, so three. Oh, saw. So. Yeah, so it's your country ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even understand what you say. <laughs> so I'm just saying because that that's just like that's something that you ain't even gotta. They gonna do it themselves. Yeah, that's a lot of work, dog. It ain't a lot of work. Man, it's the amount of brains and everything that took to set up all that stuff. Man, it's worth it. It's like a whole movie. Two for one. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. So let's uh lesson blessing a curse. This movie was, I guess you could say it was a blessing. It was a blessing. I loved it. It was funny. It, it was, was funny, a, it was cool. I like the anime. Like it was nice. I liked it. Yeah. Well, I also seen a slightly a lesson too, like the the stint people would go for likes, the and the carnage that people will create when their life is exposed, you know? True. So, all right. We got another episode for y'all next week. Make sure you tune in. Might be some bonus episodes. Uh, log in. 
twinkleberry.com. If you got questions, comments, concerns, you got some movies you want us to check out, check us out on Instagram, Twinkleberry Movie Club, uh, DJ T-W-I-N-T-W-O. And we'll see y'all next week. Peace. Holla.